robotic sort of um, gave me that initial discipline push. Um, I don't know what the breakdown, how it is now. Before in the past, it was the mechanics and the officers. Then there was the mechanics officer and a small group of Marines who were sort of in charge of training all the new kids. The way the way it is now is it's enlisted. Enlisted, raise your hand. It's the same thing, mechanics. And then officers, raise your hand. Armando. And then uh, instead of uh, the security team, we just use the JRTC now as our security. Oh, so right. they come in with their ACUs and everything. Nice, that's good. So, um, I mean, that sort of gave me the discipline push. I mean, at the same time, I was still living my point-to-point -point life. I was studying, um, at first I was studying criminal justice. So I was, to me, it was a black and white future. Didn't see myself, you know, going too far with it. So I start, I thought about IT. I'm good with computers. I like to do deal with computers. I like to crack them apart, mess around with them. And I was like, let me try, let me try that. Gave my first year, first sem second semester freshman year, first semester uh, sophomore year. Loved it. I was absolute beast at it. <laughs> and from there on out, I just started noticing. <coughs> So I started getting all my certs. I used uh, the school campuses. There, um, I actually at one point took down the entire Wi-Fi network at, on campus. <laughs> mm -hmm. I tried to uh, try to play around with uh, firewall. Next thing you know, half of my code was missing. Uh, more than half of it was missing the Wi-Fi. The only place there was Wi-Fi was at the parking decks. Nobody was up there at all. So you too can take down a system. <laughs> yeah. In my first day, it wasn't the first time I took down a system. Oh, yeah. I was working at Versace in the city as my uh, second or first, first internship. And Versace is a worldwide network. It was a worldwide uh, company. Offices from Italy, Milan, to Bogota, Bogota, something. Okay. Do you guys know what a Versace is? Yeah. Because of the handbag, right? They're... Um, their flagship store was in Fifth Ave, but I worked from their office in Madison Ave, and I thought about doing the same thing at their mom Thursday. I wanted to play around with the firewall. It was a brand new firewall, $80,000 firewall. Play around with it. Shout out to um, Versace. For like, all like, around the world, they were just they were, they, there was no internet. Um, it was like the day before they had their their fashion show. So they were a little bit in chaos. I kept my mouth shut. My IT manager knew it was me. He kept his mouth shut just so he knew, you know, he knew what the problem was. It just took him some time to put it back online. But it was trial and error that got me through high school, through uh, college, got me through high school as well. Um, what I do now, I live for Saatchi. I work very close from here. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, there's three buildings across uh, Berkeley College. One's uh, SciTech, biomedical weapons manufacturing company. There's a PNC building. And the third building is a federal building. Uh, fourth floor, FBI. Third floor, IRS. Second floor is DEA, ATF, and my um, agency, the CMO. What we do is, as the company itself, they take care of children with behavioral and mental issues. So if you, have, if you know somebody that is in trouble with Passaic County judicial system, or if the kid is in trouble, you know, just mentally, behaviorally is acting out, chances are that kid is enrolled with us. And what I do for them is I am the DIS, Director of Information Systems. I run their entire IT network. I take care of all their IT issues, the problems. If the Tier 1 level uh, specialist cannot fix it, and the Tier 2 can't fix it, then they come to me. The issue comes to me. If I can't fix it, I take it to an outside source. In a nutshell, my job is pretty awesome, really bad. I have access to all the financial records, all the human resources record in the entire company. But with that sort of power, I don't know, I think it was Spider-Man saying, great powers is with great responsibility. You have to know about honesty and integrity as well. You have to make sure you don't violate privileged information. So just because, you know, if you are, if you, what, what, which of you guys are interested in IT? I know you guys are pretty much young, but don't have a set solid focus in your career, but do you guys have any interest in computers or anything? I mean, if you do go into computers, IT or computer science, you will come up a path, you will come across a path where you need to, you'll have the entire company's information at your hand. 
it's you know the discipline that you learn from here, the discipline you learn in college is what's going to keep you from not screwing that up. Choice of words there, but can I talk about one other thing? Yeah, yeah please take as, as much as you want. This this thing helped out my uh, my life overall. Uh, and once you guys, if you guys get to college, hopefully you all do. You guys are going to come to not a roadblock, but maybe something that you might want to look into. You might not. You may think that it's completely not your cup of tea. That's perfectly fine. But when you get to college, you guys will be exposed to Greek life, fraternities and sororities. Now, there's a lot of fraternities and sororities out there that are just doing it for the hell of it. They're just for letters. They're um, what, you, what you see on TV is pretty much what you get from certain fraternities. Tau Kappa Epsilon T. Delta Epsilon Psi, Dep Psi. Those are all fraternities that you know they'll they'll hate you. Two hundred thousand people in that fraternity. There's one fraternity that I joined while my fir uh, first semester in my first senior class, senior Delta Sigma. Other, at least I'm on Clear State. They're in Rutgers. You go to Duke, Penn State, North Carolina State University, uh, University of North Carolina. They're there. And Rutgers in Newark as well. So um, the benefit thing that what I gained from there is they, they strive on three pillars: service, education, and unity. Service is pretty much like community service. Um, we're, our the person that we follow primarily is, or the person we believe is Gandhi, Mahatma Gandhi. And so service is you know giving back to the community. Education is striving in both um, academics as well as our cultural knowledge, and unity, just a, a brotherhood. There's a difference between having friends, best friends, and brothers. Um, from there, I learned, I gained a lot of professionalism, leadership. I topped off my time management skills. That's the amount of pressure that you get. Leadership-wise, second semester, as a brother, I was the uh, pledge master. And the pledge master, it would closely relate to what I used to do back here at Robotics. As um, a sergeant for the Marines, any new guys that came in, you know, I was in, I was in charge of making sure they were properly trained. Same responsibility as a pledge master. You are in charge of shaping the entire fraternity. You get ten pledges in, or pledges or rushes interest, whatever you, whatever you would call them. It is my responsibility to make sure that those ten kids are proper, properly adequate for our fraternity. Afterwards, you know, the, the leadership from being a pledge master led me to be the president for my chapter. It was short-lived because I, I uh, graduated that semester as well. So I couldn't be a president for long, but right now, I graduated last spring. Right now I serve on the national board as the vice president of standards. And I'm, pretty much, I'm second in command for the entire fraternity. And it all began with the leadership skills that I got here at Robotics. So I mean, is this how many of you guys, this is your first time, first year or second year? First, first second year. Majority of you guys. So I mean, I, if you guys at any point feel like you know this isn't what you want to do, I would say give it a chance. Give it a couple more chances because chances are your experience here in robotics will shape you outside of the real world. Is there uh, <clears throat> is there anything you think? Do you think that robotics was valuable to your success in college, or do you think that it was just a small part? Of everything that you're doing, it's I would say it's a, it's a piece of the puzzle. A piece of the puzzle meaning you know, without robotics, with the help in robotics that I got, you know, the friends, the uh, mentorship from Gilman. Even after robotics, you know, I ran into Gilman almost every other day at Montclair State until uh, before I graduated. So I would say robotics did influence my my lifestyle in college. Is there any tips that you can tell them? Uh, a lot of them are freshmen here, so they're new boots. Is there any tips you can tell them to, so they can get through their first year? Whatever the professor, whatever, oh, I keep saying professor, whatever the teacher said here, whatever you may feel, if you feel like you know, you're know you down, or if you feel like you, know, you can't do something, give it time. Take a step back, breathe, and just bite your tongue. Be disciplined. Because when, as soon as you start acting out, it's when you lose control. If you lose control, you're just, you know, you're going down a spiral of just distracting for your own side. Someone says something, bite your tongue.
the opportunities that your new your, your occupation has been able to give you? I would say all sorts of opportunities because I'm very close with our um, with our executive director, who's the big boss in our entire building. I'm very close with our controller, our CFO, and the chief financial officer in our um, organization. So, I mean, the thing that I learned, I gained the most is connections, networking. You know, you know one person, it's just like how Facebook spread it. It's uh, social media the same way, by word of mouth. You know person A, that person A knows 10 other people. Within that person, within those 10 people, another one knows another 20. So now you're opening yourself up to doors and connections. One of the uh, opportunities that I gave um, a good friend of mine, Muhammad Khan, He's uh, also a brother in our fraternity, a founding father. It gave him the opportunity, it gave me at least, to give him the opportunity to work for uh, Saks, Macy's, and, and auditing. It's an auditing company that takes care of all the financials for our company. And because of that, you know, it gave him at least an opportunity to go for, up for an interview. Most people don't even get that chance. So, I mean, networking is what I've gained at least the most, in most retrospect. I gained more leadership, you know, having uh, 10 people work under me gave me the sense of direction, gave me a sense of belonging. You, know, you get to budget and you work with, uh, with money. You're given $2 million for a year and you have to use that $2 million very wisely. So I mean, overall you do get, get a heightened sense of actual reality. How you, you know, 93, was it 93, 73 that you guys are here? It's just a brief, ex, you know, expression of what an actual 9 to 5 job could be. Some of you guys might, you know, not want to go to, um, not might want to have a desk job. You might want to be on the field all the time. It's perfectly fine. It just gives you a, a kick in the ass to realize what's out in the real world. So, I mean, if you think things are tough now, once you get, well, I realize how tough the real world is when I started working for Circle of Care. That's the company I work with right up the, right up the street. It takes me five minutes to get there, I'm late almost every day, but for some reason. But, I mean, it's an opportunity. Excellent. Well, everyone uh, give Mufti a hand.